Do you know the type of food that you crave for after an activity? Tells a lot about how enjoyable the activity was for you. Activity could be anything from a work meeting to attending a class or going for a long walk. If you have to sit through an entire hour of listening to a boring boss, you need to exert self-control and self-control requires mental energy. Now there's one more thing that's going on or at least should be going on while you sit through that meeting or the class. Deliberate thinking. It's thinking beyond the words you're hearing. For example, when you're listening to me and you think, hmm, that's a good point or I don't agree with this or how about this instead of this, your brain is making all sort of connections from your past knowledge and experiences. Deliberate thinking is a good thing. You're not a robot that needs to be fed a step by step. You're more like a smart AI. Your intelligence grows as you learn more. Deliberate thinking is how we learn. Deliberate thinking also requires mental energy. And the problem is that both these guys, self-control and deliberate thinking, draw from the same pool of mental energy. And it's a limited pool. If you have to exert a lot of self-control sitting in a long boring class, that eats up all your mental energy and your deliberate thinking goes for a toss. There was a study conducted on eight judges in Israel. Their day-long job was to review applications for parole and either approve it or deny it. The default decision was denial. Only 35% of the applications used to be approved that required deliberate thinking on their part. Researchers noted down the timings of all the approved requests. When they plotted that against the timings of food breaks for the judges, there was a disturbing pattern. Two hours or so after the meal break, the approval request dropped steadily to about zero before the next meal break. As their mental energy depleted, the judges would fall back upon the easier decision of denying requests. That didn't require any deliberate thinking. But soon after the meal break, there was a spike in approved requests. So what happened after the food breaks? We need to understand that mental energy isn't just a metaphor. Our nervous system requires more glucose than any other part of the body. With food breaks came the glucose that replenished their mental energy reserves. Our brain has a sweet tooth, sweeter than any other organ in the body. It consumes 20% of the energy of the body, an average of 400 to 500 calories a day. Our brain is a hungry monster. The more boring an experience was, the more unhealthier you eat afterwards because there's no mental energy left to make healthier choices. Given a choice between junky cookies and a healthy bowl of salad, you're more likely to pick the junky option if you're right out of a mentally exhausting experience. If you are out of an experience where time just flew by, you're more likely to choose the healthier option. This was confirmed in a study conducted by psychologist Roy Boymester and his colleagues. If we get derailed by difficult cognitive tasks, imagine what happens to kids when they sit through a rigid timetable of back-to-back -back classes which are not of their interest. The more boring we make their learning experiences, the more they'll gravitate towards junk food. Fortunately, there's a type of cognitive effort that doesn't require self-control. It's the cognitive effort required in the flow state. In a previous video, we deep dived into the flow state, so I'm not going to get into details here. But the point is that if you're working on something that's interesting and little challenging for you, time seems to flow by. You do not need self-control and the entire pool of mental energy is free for deliberate thinking. That's how we want learning to be for kids. We want to make learning experiences fun and engaging for kids. They have to be interested in what they are learning. Let kids self-pick from their areas of interest. Only then will they deep dive and gain expertise and also make healthier food choices. For more creativity hacks, check out these videos.